to my daily tutorials. Remember the daily now, so to see more, click subscribe and click the little bell button next to it to get notified whenever I pop a new video. This one is how to draw an old school tiger. Enjoy people. Right people, how to draw an old school tiger face. A little bit of an angle. Now if you see my panther one, this is very similar to the panther one, just with a few slight differences. So I'm going to do this on the iPad Pro in Procreate. And very similar, going to have four layers, sketching, colour, shading, line work. Start with sketching and work our way down. If you've done on paper, just copy what I do on there. That simple. Start off with sketching. I'm going to use technical pencil on the sketching tool in a dark red. I'll start off very basically, just drawing in a circle. Just divide into four, like so. You want to get this like curved kind of sausage shape coming around here, so go over here. Curve here, so it goes a little bit below the line and make sure it comes outside the circle just here. Get yourself a circle on the inside bit, touching that line just there. Where this line cuts through here, bring a little triangle shape on the inside of it, just kind of curved triangle shape. And the top bit we can just kind of dip down a touch. Make sure it's within in, in that side inside that shape. Now very important. Come back off the side of it, we're gonna curve around here. I'm going to bring these curve lines in and just curve the way a little bit. So we're going to go curve, curve the way just a touch, curve the way just a touch. And then when we get to about here, we're going to join this curve one up to the nose. Then coming up here, we're going to come up. And similar to below, we're going to do a few little lines just coming in. And that's going to connect up to the other side of the nose. Just like that. I'm going to create this little dip just underneath the nose and just do a couple of loops on the outside. So you see, that's the sort of base part for the uh, it's kind of mouth area. And now above this eye, this circle, I'm going to bring this curve line around, like so. Curve around, and curve back. So look at sort of like, again, like a sausage kind of shape. I'm going to bring a little curve line, just coming off it, connecting up to the edge of that, like so. Coming down from the eye, curve down like here. It's going to tell you roughly where you want this tooth. So again, a big sort of triangular shape just there. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six circles. And then another sort of triangle shape for another thing. Very simple. Now we're going to come down. So we're going to do another circle just here. Make sure it's, you know, roughly about kind of in line with the upper part. Go a little curve line just here, kind of help me going. And what you're going to do when you get to this circle, we're going to curve up. And kind of follow the same sort of direction as this, so this sort of direction. So I'm going to curve up, curve around, and you want to create this lip. So you're basically curving up and then create a secondary line coming down around. And curve this up to that. So you're basically just putting the base to put the mouth in. In that corner, get a triangle for the tooth. Do one, two, three, and do four in here. And then another triangle shape for the other tooth. And then we're going to curve line up and curve it down to make the base of the tongue. And then coming off the back of that, I'm going to do this kind of curve coming up here. Another one just next to it, just there. And this little line just here to finish off the mouth shape. Now I'm going to basically just draw the outside sort of shape. So I'm going to curve around this bottom part, curve into the circle, curve around. I'm going to curve it around as if it was coming down towards the eye. So you're basically getting this kind of shape to it. You want to make sure you've got like a little dip just here. I'm going to create another curve just coming around here. I'm going to follow this head coming back. Create a little dip. Curve back. When you get to about here, we're going to curve this out. And make this bump shape. Then curve down off of that and just curve back around. So you basically just cut into that shape and I'll give you the ear. It's going to sketch a little line just in here because it's where like, the body would go outside of it. A little line just down here where that part of the body would go as well. Just so we kind of know roughly where that would be. Now what I'm going to do, just over here on this part, I'm going to do this other little sausage shape just here and a tiny little pin of the other eye. Not much. And this is the basic structure of the face. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to line work, I'm going to put all the detail in and I'm going to talk you through the stuff as I do it. So I'm going to go on calligraphy and use monoline because it's just a very nice line. I'm going to use about that kind of thickness and I'm going to set it to black. 
You can use whichever pen you prefer, it's just a very nice even line to draw with. And it comes standard on every um, uh, Procreate, so everyone has access to it if you have a Procreate. If you don't have Procreate, you don't want a paper, it's literally just like a normal bold marker. So you could use like a Sharpie or something, just whatever your preferred pen is really. So basically just drawing in those line shapes we done. Putting those ones above the nose. Getting this line above the eye and I'm going to stop it here because this top part I'm going to do in lines rather than as one big uh, sided line. So I've got a circle for the eye in there now. I'm going to bring in that line, that line just there. Just give a bit of kind of anger to it. And just following the shape of this, I'm going to bring in these diagonal lines just coming across to where we started, just there. And similarly over here, where we had this little dump bump over here, just bringing that in just there. Just following the shape of the hair coming back. That ear, gonna curve around like that. It's gonna give you an ear shape. Um, the pupil's up to you, you can give them the cat's eye if you want, you know, a sort of strip like that. I prefer to do the pupil. I know I don't have it, but I just generally prefer how it looks. Gonna get these teeth in here. Two, three, four, five. Five would fit better, but I just have a thing about getting even number of teeth in there. I hate uneven numbers, I don't know why. Which is kind of ironic because my favourite number is an uneven number. So just keep it in, and most of the lines are done. You can see where I'm going with this. Anywhere I make a change, I will tell you about the changes I make. Just here on the inside part of the mouth, I'm going to bring this little curved line and just bring another curved line just there. Yeah, like that. So for this chin, I'm going to bring in curved lines coming round. Let's go to it just there. Cut this back. I'm going to get this back bit again, just bring in these lines, just following that back. Line shape. Just like so. Just bring in those two lines just down a little bit. So you see, that's the basic structure of the face without the stripes. So as you can see, as it still stands, very similar to the panther, just with the uh, hairy texture really. There's not too much difference, you know, a few little just slight adjustments in the face, you know, the way we had the sort of curve here, you know, the mouth area is just a little bit bigger, you know, above the eyes, just that tiny bit different. You know, a little bit above the nose, just a little bit more raised. You know, but these are still personal preference, you know, you could do them the same, they're still going to look, you know, pretty cool. So now I've got this, I'm going to put in some stripes. So I'm going to start off with the first stripe. Bring the first one coming down there. Gonna have this one come round and connecting up to that one. Yeah, I like that. And this last one's gonna be literally just a lion just coming down there. This one's gonna curve around here. Oops, sorry, well I went a bit crazy there. Let's create a nice little curve line up there. I like to change them up each time and kind of play with them. I just kind of put, play around, just put like a little kind of little different angles and patterns in them. You know, there's no specific rule to a target strap, especially when it comes to old school, you know, just play around a bit and put it kind of wherever you feel kind of looks good, good really.
You know, I mean, you've got to find some ways that don't work, you know, don't worry about that. But yeah, just do whichever ones you feel do work. Now we've got that, I'm going to turn off the shade and layer. And a slight difference I'm going to do for this one, and we don't have to, but the um, the whiskers. On the uh, Panther, I've done these kind of V-shaped ones. On this one, I'm just going to have um, straight lines coming out. Just a great bit of variation in them, really. And just to show you that you don't necessarily need to do it one specific way. So now we've got this done. Click on it and make sure your line is set to reference. So click on it and click reference. Now go down to the shading. Use the selection tool at the top and have it set to automatic. So now when we select, it's going to select inside these areas. And if you click and drag, and you can see at the top it's got selection threshold. Just make sure it's over 90%. Don't put it all to 100% low, but just above 90. So anywhere between 90 and 98 really. You know, if you hit 100, it's just going to select the entire page. So it's not going to do the right thing it's supposed to. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm selecting all the areas that I know I want heavy black work in. No, not too close. So I know I want all the target stripes in black. And for these, I'm going to go down to spray paint. I like to use medium nozzle. Again, this is available on all iPad Pros, uh, well, on all Procreates, rather. So everyone has access to it. I'm going to blacken the lip and just leave like a little highlight just on the edge, but it's just there. Just like so. Blacken that nose, just coming up like that. It's up to you if you want to completely blacken the nose, I prefer not to. I'm just going to do some corner bits. So a little bit there, just on the inside of the eye. Just back part of the mouth, going to black that in. The areas inside the mouth, it's going to have a little bit of black just come down from the top and the bottom. So like up there, and just a little bit below the tongue. Nothing crazy. And very similar to the uh, panther one we done as well. Thing. So I'm going to select freehand. I basically want to select all the part going around the edge just up here. So I'm going to draw along this line just around here. There we go. So you see now I'm basically just going to put a bit of black just around the top part. So. Oops, don't want too much around it here. So just over that top bit of that head really, just want that bit around there. And we'll have this little bit, just look around the edge of the stripes and around the edge of the mouth really. Why has gone so small? So just a little bit just around here. Not too crazy, I just want a hint of that just there. And put a little bit just in the gums. And just a little hint just coming off of the stripes. This isn't necessary, I just quite like doing this. And if you do it, don't necessarily do it on every single one, but I'm going to do it on those ones. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put a little bit of black just above. Just no, it's just a fraction, not much, just a tiny bit on the edge. Most of this is going to be with the colour work. And I think like the rest of it is pretty much going to be in colour work now, so I'm going to go down to the colour. Cool, so the rest is going to be in colour now, so go on a colour layer. Which bits have I just done there? So I'm going to start off with my lightest tone, which I'm going to have is going to be like this yellow kind of tone. 
So I'm going to use the freehand tool. I want to select most of the face and colour in the bits that I want to colour in. Just trying to stick on your line. If you go over your line, don't worry, you can always just erase the little bit you kind of went over. So I'm basically selecting all the bits that I want to be in the, uh, the colour that you want. So I'm basically just sketching out all the uh, bits that I don't want. I think that's going to colour in the iron, actually. Oh well. I'll erase that bit. Just trying to erase that bit. There we go. I've lost that to the right bits. Yeah, so I accidentally selected the eye, so I'll erase that. And I'm going to quickly just erase some of the bits that I don't want in here. So I'm going to put the eraser to the spray paint nozzle as well. So this part around the chin, you know, I want white. Well, I want a white, and I'm going to have like a black sort of tone underneath it. Ah, losing it. I just want to rub out this part here, just around these lines we've done. So one knows bit's white. Just blending out a little bit just above the eyebrow. Obviously just changing the colour in the eyes. Don't want that in there. I'm just going to quickly colour in just that little bit just there. Yeah, that did it to begin with. And now I've got that, I'm going to click on here, just click select on the colour. And that's just going to, now when I draw it, it's going to go over those areas, which is what I want. And I'm going to come in now, I'm going to use a slightly like, orangey brown tone. You know, if you want to use these colours, I have these exact colours, um, the colour palette on my Instagram and Facebook. You can go on there and just copy it. And you're using the exact same colour set I use. Now, I generally use the same colour set for all my videos, you know. Every now and again I might make up a new colour, but you'll see me do that and you'll know how to do it. So I'm basically going with this just over the dark areas we use. So anytime there's a dark area, I'm basically pretty much just going over that. So I'm going around the edge of the stripes we've done, and just going around the edge, really, around the whole thing. And certain little bits like here, I'm just going to put a little bit just in this kind of gap, just to kind of sort of separate it. And then I'm going to come in with a sort of darker version now. And just very, very little amount of this, just, again, just going over the edge of it. Just each time, you're basically just going over it and just going a little bit shorter each time with a darker tone. Now, if you feel it's too dark for you, you can just keep it quite light if you want. You know, it's really personal preference. I'm going to get all my selection tool. I'm going to select all the areas I know I want red. And I'm going to go this nice, strong, old school red. So the mouth, a little bit behind the eye, and in the ear. These gum areas, I want to have a dark red. That nose, I'm going to have a little bit of red just there as well. I'm going to select this part of the mouth, just here. I'm going to select this blue. I'm going to turn it down, I'm just going to turn the transparency down. And I'm just going to flick a little bit of blue just inside the gaps coming outwards. So inside these gaps, just flicking out this very faint blue. 
almost grey. I mean, you could use a grey if you want. It's literally the same kind of colour, just that slight bit off. So it's going to literally come around the edges of these hair bits now with it. Come in with a dark, almost black version now. Let's turn this transparency up a little bit. I'm just going dark over the tips. Like so. Let's give me a razor to clean up a few little lines. around there a little bit, just bring that back to the touch, that's nice and neat inside it. Put it inside the eye, let's see how it looks. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go yellow. I might go like, like a light green. Yeah, I like that. And I might go red. Shrink this down a lot. Put it red around the pupil, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Just gonna set these teeth, just get a bit of grey. Just gonna flick a little bit of grey just from one side. Very simple. Like this little arrow just down this bolt. Went a little bit too high there. Just keep it on the lines. A little bit of black just going into a little bit of that orange. Into just a fraction of that yellow. Just fill in that gap bit there. And I cannot forget to do that other eye in the background. Which I almost did. Kicking myself if I've done that. And there you have it. That's how you draw an old school tiger face. I hope you like it. I hope you check out my videos. Like I said I've got the uh, panther one that is uh, very similar. Check out that. I am the Broken Puppet and I'll see you next time people. Peace.